Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today we are talking about the affordable portable power station. A lot of folks have reached out to me looking for this information. They see the value in these products. They're interested in the technology. They want them for home energy backup, overlanding, campers, outdoor activities. I get it. I love these systems. But I also get that they can't wrap their head around the outrageous price tag for a lot of these name brand systems. So I did a little scouring on the internet, I went through reviews, came up with a couple finalists and got my hands on these products. I've been testing this Opez 600 watt portable power station for a couple months now and I've been very impressed. The part that you're gonna be most interested with is as of now, there's a $200 coupon on Amazon. You can get this product well under $400. I was also able to get a 20% off coupon with a link in the description if you wanna buy this factory direct. So between those two options, and look at them both because they change, you can get this system under $400. I don't think I could build this system for that price when you include all of the components that are coming with it. But it doesn't matter what something costs if it's a piece of junk. So I've been testing this out and I'm excited to share my results with you guys. So let's get into this. So for starters, it looks like the company tried to make a mix between a Blue Eddy and a Jackery. The front interface is laid out like the Blue Eddy, but obviously the color scheme, the ABS plastic, the top handle looks a lot like the Jackery units. Well, these are two proven designs and it makes sense that they did that. I think the fit and finish is really nice and the build quality is sufficient for home energy backup and for some camping use. It's not built like the Lion Energy or the Goal Zero units that can withstand some real intense pressure from like construction, but this is gonna be more than enough for most people. They include this integrated LED on the back. That's probably gonna blow out my camera. <laughs> Um, I really like this. You've heard me make fun of these tiny little lights that they put on some of the units that weigh like 30 pounds, and I don't see any value in those. This light, however, is great when the power goes out. You can use it in a tent, an easy up. I can find a lot of purposes for this light, and I appreciate that they included it. Now, this unit is 600 watt hours using lithium iron phosphate technology. So that's gonna make this unit weigh about 15 pounds. So it weighs more than the Jackery or the Gold Zero, but right around the weight of the EcoFlow Delta or the Blue Eddy that uses the same battery chemistry. You've heard me discuss the pros and cons in other videos. It means that this system's gonna weigh a little bit more, but it's a safer, more stable chemistry, and it's going to get thousands of life cycles. So the battery chemistry itself is gonna be capable of lasting a very, very long time. So this unit comes with a 600 watt pure sine wave inverter. I've done a ton of testing, and I'm happy to report that it is what they advertise it to be. That's refreshing from these discount companies. You used to not be able to find that. I have put surge loads up to 1,000 watts, prolonged loads up to 600 watts. The inverter handles it fine. The integrity of the sine wave remains intact, which means that you could run sensitive hospital gear off this equipment. It's giving you a better sine wave than most people receive in their outlets at home. The, efficient, the efficiency is in the high 80%, which is on par with all of the units available. But there is one catch. The inverter will shut off from low voltage from the battery between seven and 9% state of charge. So when your battery is over 90% depleted, that inverter will shut off. Some of the more expensive units have kind of engineered their way around this. They either have a lower voltage threshold, they do some regulation between the battery and the inverter, or they just oversize the battery so that you can get close to 90% of the advertised capacity through the inverter. So that's not the case with this unit. You're gonna lose the last seven to 9% of your battery when you are using your inverter exclusively. The saving grace here is that the competition with 500 or even 400 watt hour units 
cost more than this unit. So for what you're paying, you are actually getting more capacity out of the inverter than the competition. So that's not too bad. Now over here you have a power button. If you tap it lightly, the comm screen comes on. With a long press, you can shut the unit off or turn it on. With the comm screen, you're gonna get a state of charge and percentage form. There's also a circular representation graphically of how much charge is left in the battery. When you are charging the unit, that circle will spin to let you know that it's charging. At the bottom of the comm screen, you're gonna see how much time is remaining on the battery. Now this is accurate if you're using a constant load. So something like a fan or a light, it'll give you a very accurate number for how long it can run that device. Something like a refrigerator that cycles on and off is gonna require you to do your own math. Now at the top, you're gonna see wattage in or wattage out depending whether you're using the unit or charging the unit. But you can charge this unit and use it at the same time. So I really would have liked to see both of those numbers included, or at least pan back and forth between the two numbers. If you plug a solar panel into this and a 12 volt refrigerator at the same time, you have to cycle one of them off in order to see the wattage coming in or the wattage going out. It doesn't tell you both of them at the same time, and I think that was just an oversight. Now we'll finish up with these 12 volt ports in a second, but I wanna talk about charging. This unit comes with a wall charger and a car charger included in the purchase with the unit. Some brands are still selling these as accessories, so it's really nice to see these included. It's got an eight or a 7.9 millimeter barrel connection here. You can use it for the wall charger, the car charger, or a solar panel. You can plug your Jackery, Goal Zero, Dokio, any of these panels that have this 7.9 barrel connector into this up to 100 watts. Your wall charger is 100 watts, and your car charger kind of fluctuates a little bit, but it's usually down around 70 watts going into this unit. So the charge times are not the best in the business, but they're not bad. And this unit actually has dual charging capabilities that we're gonna talk about here in a second. So over here on the USB outputs, you have two USB A's that are quick charge, three amps. They're the blue USBs. So they're giving you top of the line USBs. There's nothing too special here, but there was room for them to skimp out there and they didn't do it. They also included the 60 watt power delivery port. We talked about this in the last video. You can do a fast charge to a device like a laptop, camera, modern electronics, and you can also charge this unit with that port. So you can take a laptop charger that goes to USB-C, plug it into that power delivery port and get up to 60 watts into this device. Because it has dual charging, you could also plug in your wall charger to the side and get up to about 160 watts into the unit. That's a really nice feature. Now, because the price was so low, I bought this as a kit and it came with a portable solar panel that's 100 watts. This was cheap too and I actually really like this panel. But the hack that I figured out with solar charging is that I can plug this 100 watt panel into the side. Now I own another panel that has a USB output. So I plug that into the power delivery port. That gives me up to 160 watts of solar input. So that little workaround really made the difference for a fast charge out in the field. Now, of course, if somebody's a beginner, where you live in the country, what time of day, what season it is, all that affects your solar performance. But the point is, you're actually able to plug two separate solar panels into this device at the same time when you use that power delivery port. So I was really impressed with the 12 volt outputs on this device. You have two 5521s. For those of you who like uh, playing with gadgets, you can make diesel heaters, propane heaters, refrigerators, lights, water pumps. You can make little plugs to go into there and get 13.5 volts regulated. It's really handy and it frees up this automotive style plug. They're using a marine grade plug here with a dust cover. 
but if you watch the channel, you might notice what I like about this most. This is a simple plug that you can get on Amazon. Even if they put a little glue on this, I am confident that I could swap this plug out if this ever went bad, and I could continue to use this device. Remember, the lithium iron phosphate battery in here will last a long time. If the BMS holds up, a lot of times all of this other stuff will break before the battery does. Having a port that can be serviced leads me to believe that I could use this to run a refrigerator for a very, very long time. So there's some hidden long-term value in there with the ability to service this unit. So folks, I'm sure you can tell by now that I see a ton of value in this system. Now, if it costs the same amount as a name brand system, I could make a case against it. You're not gonna get the over the top charging performance that you would out of a Blue Eddy. You're not gonna get the cooling system and the aluminum box that you would get with a, a Goal Zero product. But you're getting performance that is going to meet or exceed the requirements for how most people use these systems for a ton of less money. You could buy almost two of these systems for the price of a comparably sized name brand unit. There is a ton of value there. So I hope you appreciate videos like this. Feel free to ask a question, leave a comment, um, make a request. If I can afford the unit you want me to review, I will get it and do a review of it. So thank you guys so much and I will see you next time.